Hello again. Today I'd like to talk with you about one of my favorite rappers in the American underground scene. In particular, this guy appears to be one of the authentic and influential figures in contemporary rap scene due to the simple fact that it was he who significantly stimulated the career growth of Suicide Boys, Fat Nick, Ghost Main, and other young rappers coming from the United States. To be honest, I never listened to his albums or mixtapes or whatever from beginning to an end, because I'm that basic and I was only aware of the songs that have already been uploaded on YouTube like his older Get Bug, 41, Scrubs, etc. Therefore, now it's time to come to review the latest album of this young fella, Kevin Puya, better known as simply as Puya, an American SoundCloud rapper coming from Florida, as I recall correctly. He is mostly famous for his authentic and original voice that you cannot mistake for somebody else's, and for being one of the pioneers in the new school rap music, which was highly inspired by Bone Thugs and 36 Mafia's music as well. Similar to Bones and Xavier Wolf in California, Puyo would start merging the triplet flow, trap style instrumentals with depressive, dark, and even suicidal lyrics, which was fundamentally new back in 2012 2013. With this new record titled 5 5, Puya attempts to be distinctive among the other SoundCloud rappers who have simply turned into mumble rap beers. At the same time, he still tries to maintain his position as one of the pioneers of new school rap. The title and the album cover speak for themselves because 5 5 is the exact height of Puya 5 feet 5 inches and the Cadillac on the back of the cover serves as a direct reference to his anxiety, depression and suicidal thoughts. In particular, it is a clear reference to his previous track Suicidal Thoughts at the back of the Cadillac, and a sudden follow-up for this track is present at the record's end with the part 2 of this track. Anyway, having listened to the record and having followed Puyo on social media, it appears rather obvious to state that this album is the manifestation of his feelings and emotions toward the world around him, towards the people surrounding him, and towards the contemporary rap scene. Certainly, we've seen such approach in many other albums, however, what makes this album different is Puyo's own perspective and his own background. The lyrics of the album are also self-explanatory and don't require additional transcription, interpretation or decoding or whatever. Or it's just me who sees the meaning of the lyrics initially. I am also very very glad that Puya tried not to follow the simple trap style pattern and write lyrics in order like to sell the album better. Instead, it was mostly old-school type lyricism, which uh, extensively includes double rhyme patterns and various rhythmic shifts. At the same time, I do find the continuous use of the same themes expressed in the lyrics more and more like duller towards the end of the record, because I do feel like Puya says the same things again with the same words again. But that's maybe just me. I still find the lyrics very decent for a contemporary rap album. Instrumentals have been fully composed by Mikey the Magician, one of the guys composing beats for Puya just like for other members of Buffett Boys, their collective. I really cannot say something negative about the instrumentals as they sound right on the record. At the same time, I don't find something wow in them or something to admire in them. From completely musical standpoint, the hooks have been performed really great, but only in the first half of the album. I really enjoyed the hooks of the first two tracks, Aftershock and Void. Still, the level of excitement was declining, similar to my feelings towards the lyrics. By the end of the album, the track Suicidal Thoughts at the Back of Cadillac 2 sounds rather dull and boring compared to the opening tracks and to the first part of the track, which I really liked. To my personal opinion, the instrumentation lacked some alternative emotional vibe to balance the depressive lyrics. Maybe it was worth considering more aggressive, more upbeat and faster beats, maybe more frightening or horrific like in the Sons of Suicide Boys. What do I mean? I mean that it would be more complex and more interesting to listen to depressive lyrics performed on aggressive beat like it was on Thousand Rounds with Ghostmane, for example. 
Still, I find the record as decent interpretation of sad stories of life surrounding Puya, of his worries about his girlfriend fighting cancer, about his frustration towards modern rappers trying to use his stylistic achievements in music, etc. It's decent, but I really wish that Puya would come up with something more complex in sound and conceptual delivery. For now, 3.5 out of 5. That's it for today, thanks for watching. If you liked the video, please leave it a like, and if you are here for the first time, please consider subscribing. Leave a comment about whether you listened to the album or not, whether you liked it or not, and about what should I review next in my future videos. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my Telegram, Instagram and Twitter pages, the links you'll find in the description below. And now, that's it for today. Thanks everyone, and goodbye to everyone.